zero. Yeah, good enough. I'll be honest. A better stream commentator would like adjust that to be a little bit to the as you know again. again. Uh, nope, that'll work. Oh, let's get it centered. Uh, perfect. Sort of. Go again. Good, yeah, great. Side. Oh, it's not those quarters, it is winners finals. What's up, Caleb? What are your thoughts? So, I think last time they played the cloud from the quarter one. Like, I, I remember Kai taking like a few sets here and there, but it's like been pretty much cloud favored. Yeah, I'd say it's probably like 80 20. Maybe, yeah. About 80 20. So. Like 80 20 matches. Um, odds. Um, but Kai can definitely do it. Definitely favor my The thing about Kai, yeah, it's like Kai has a reasonably well balanced game plan. It's like pretty safe around Peach's shield. Yeah. Has a pretty disciplined no FD game. So. Yeah. I think. I, don't know, I think part of it comes down to how clean Kai is in his punishes and. And all that because I feel like if you slip up like a few times against Peach, you're gonna get reverse with them. Oh, yeah, I mean, hard in return. but having said that, Falcon can do the same thing to Peach with like Wake Up Shine or whatever. It can, but I feel like Peach is very rarely. I think Peach of all characters isn't really gonna be in situations where she's trying to take chase and getting hit by, say, yeah. Wake Up Shine against Falcon. Yeah. Although McLeod does like to tech chase with like. Dash attacks. Oh, uh, that's sure. Certain squads. But I feel like the, I feel like the Peach when she's tech chasing a dash attack there. She's. I feel like there's very few spots where she's going to dash attack and barely reach or not reach. Yeah. Like barely not reach and then get whip punished. It's yeah, that's true. usually when like Peach messes up the dash attack there. It's because because like you can't really. It's pretty hard to like react to everything, especially on Falco. Like react to all Falco's tech options. So Especially as tech roll which goes yeah. really far. So I think like when Peach misses a tech chase, she misses it by a fair bit. <laughs> yeah. It's not really in range to wake up shine. Um one big thing I guess for reversals will be like how well Peach can edge guard. Like the cards edge guards on the Falco yeah, are very quite like, solid. But there's a lot of spots in where you just like just get side B spiked or like it's by the RP and then combo it off that. Yeah. That's the thing about lasers. My cloud trying to cover recover really well. The thing is, the interesting thing is, um, let's think about this. With Peach, if you are late, if you do laser when Peach is reasonably close, um, out, like laser her out of her parasol, then she's forced to either sort of drift in. She can't float at the point. Assuming she's like close to float. Yeah. And then, if she does up B, then you are close enough to potentially hit it. Yeah. And it, yeah. And it's just something I've been, I mostly um, talking about it because um, Sheik's really good at punishing. At kind of just throwing out needles with um, Peach's close to hit her out of a parasol and then forcing her to either up B again. And I think Kyle could probably do something similar. Kai using the platforms a bit just to. Oh, is this one around Peach? Um, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, I think we have to press the save button. What's up? Oh, we didn't save. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna have to remember that. Me especially. It's I, I don't remember what I don't oh. know what just happened. But. So we're just basically clicking scoreboard plus BG off and on. To refresh it. Yep. 
Anyway, alright, cool. Um, so, pretty even at the moment. Like, oh, okay, yeah, this is actually. Cloud chucking out. Oh, that's. <gasps> that's critical. That's crazy. I was actually convinced he was dead. This is such a. She really wants the down smash. Really wants the. Oh, that's. Not yet, no. Yeah. But. Ooh, no. Yeah, M McLeod is so good at realizing that she can just go out there and just hit the Firebird or. Oh, that's the thing, yeah. Like, just. I think one of the big things that separates. Um, McLeod from, say, Catherine. Yeah. So is McLeod that. McLeod has those edge guards. Yeah, yeah, and, like, McLeod will just. She has very great awareness of when. Falcon only has. Like, the exact moment when Falcon only has one option. Yeah, that's true. Mm. So when, when Falco is below the stage, there are all these guys. Like, I think it seems really, it. it seems really simple. Just like, oh, yeah. Fal 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 Falco can up the, um, just you know, go out and hit it. But like, Peach is pretty slow. Yeah. And if you don't react decently fast to it, by the time you go out, float down, like drop, from the say, fastball down and then float, yeah, and it's then like in, you can get just get clipped by it. It's like harder than most characters because. With the other characters like that, you don't have to float, you just fall down. Yeah, exactly. Fox just goes out and just like shines, and she can just kind of pair. That was a greedy, Ooh. desperate F smash down. A little. Yeah. Nair, yeah, probably. Oh, okay, no, it doesn't go for the Nair, just does. Might, might be like a kill. Um. Yeah, when, like. When Peach grabs Falco and Falco's near the edge of the side flight, like, you're either going to up throw and then if they DI off, you just near them, or you're going to down throw to try and like do a tech chase and reset the situation. Yeah, this is kind of yeah, my Cloud's just punishing extremely hard. And... Yeah, Falco's kind of getting kind of a little brutalized. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. The, that really sometimes you have games in space where you just, just they they hit their punish game. And it's going to be so frustrating here because the Peach is just bunkering down, playing super safe, and like... This is when spaces go into kind of bear mode, where they just... Yeah, and then it becomes really easy to read on the side of the Peach player. Yeah, exactly. Um, very uphill battle. Very good. Um, that little slight dash after that dare. Just the awareness to know, because I don't think, yeah, that shine wasn't going to connect if he went for a shine. So he just dares and quickly gets out. <laughs> it's, like, it's like she almost reacted to where he was going to land. Maybe reactional prediction, or just... That's another bit, I mean, that's a big part of this game, right? Like, knowing, or having a good idea where they're going to be, up, you know, as you hit yeah. your move. You can't just react, you can't just wait to see where they are and then put out the hitbox. Yeah. It, you, like, react to what they initially do, like a jump, and then predict what they're going to do after. So, I wonder if we're going back or if we're going Yoshi. <laughs> I feel like Falco okay, likes platforms. Yeah. yeah. May maybe only if he has a lead. But... No, I think even I think even it's like even if you don't have a lead. Retreating the top plat when you feel uncomfortable is still really yeah. good. It's like a reset. Like, top plat isn't just used to be like, oh, I'm on top plat now, you can't do anything. I yeah. will spend six minutes here, or like eight minutes. It's just really good to like retreat to, because Peach can't really. Yes, to sort of read to. Um... <gasps> nah, it's. Yeah. Nice recovery. Mm -hmm. Weird turn of all there, but it worked out. I guess you were expecting the um, previous hitbox to hit, she was setting up for an edge guard to turn it, but... Oh, I guess, in my mind I was like, oh, that could have been a second death killed, but knowing what Cloud, she would have just SDI'd, like SDI'd in and not died from it. Very nice. A little tricky, but 
interesting man. Oh, she's not dead yet. But she has very little resources. Still hasn't got a float. Just has to kind of yeah. Now she has a float though, so it's so much more difficult to actually punish. Oh, that could have been. She didn't hit the down smash, but out of that power shield, but that nail wasn't late enough to not get yeah, down smashed. Every, every time the cloud spot dodges after a power shield, that's meant to be a down smash. Yeah, that could have been real bad for the Falco there. Especially because they're still fast falling, they're probably going for shine. They're going to eat at least two or three hits. Ooh, opens up, gets the nair, doesn't get CC. Doesn't quite get that much from it. Just... Ooh, very nice. Almost like, almost like a little whizzy stomp, but yeah, the like move a, doesn't take... A lord stomp. Yeah. The move doesn't take, like, 28 frames, so you can do it a lot earlier. <laughs> I actually have no idea how many frame stomp is. I'm just going to... I just said some random, reasonably large number. I think it's, like, 16. Sure. I'll believe you. You're the Falco. Not Falcon, Falcon. Oh, imagine if you were the Falcon. <gasps> Doesn't. Oh, okay. Tries to go for the edge cancel. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. What? That was very strange. Oh, yeah, it was edge guard. And, and good. Um, yeah, this is not quite over. There's still the cloud, the cloud's sort of playing pretty safe, like sort of just milking the fact that she's got three like stocks. One extra stock, just what's happening? In. Yeah, just almost like cashing out. So. Yeah. That was real. That was a. I mean, that, that shine and then pass full shine again to like no, the second shine still was really nice, but it wasn't wasn't, wasn't for anything. All right.